Mama Beanie here. I am remaking my baby food video, What and When to Feed, because I found a mistake in it. Um, in the last video, I had said that before the first year, it's food is really just for play, um, but that's actually only uh, until up to nine months. So food is only is mostly just for play up to nine months, and and um, and by a year, then it's mostly eating as form of nutrients, and then either breast milk or formula would be for comfort or topping off the topping off the tank when they don't want any more other food. So I wanted to quickly remake this because I found a mistake and so I'm correcting myself. Um, yes, it's important to admit when you are wrong. Um, yes, so as far as when to feed, for most babies it can be as early as four months but usually it's later what you're looking for is their ability to sit up on their own uh, mostly unassisted to have full control of those head and neck muscles so you know they can uh, swallow properly if you're unsure have it uh double checked by your pediatrician and they'll be also be able to tell you just a quick assessment in the office whether or not it's safe to for them to start trying food yeah, you're doing so good. He is um, taking out all of his um, clothes out of the hamper and inspecting them all. It's very cute. Um, so basically, as far as what to feed, you're going to want to start with a single ingredient purees at a time so that you can check for allergies and sensitivities to the food. Um, and it'll only introduce one new food at a time. Once you know they don't have any allergies, or you feel pretty uh, confident of, of their eating, and after like a month or two, you can start doing um, like two ingredient, three ingredient uh, foods as you can as you see they're handing it really well. When they're ready to start trying and noshing on foods. Um, that will be after they've been on purees for a little bit and they're starting to gum and starting to mimic you chewing. Um, maybe have maybe they have some teeth coming in. That's also a good sign that they're ready to start maybe noshing on a cube of butternut squash or um, potato. Something that is really, really soft. Uh, steamed carrots is a good option. Something they could pick up and noft and will, nosh and will just melt in their mouths. Really easy to chew. Once they get up to a year old, they can start actually tearing meat off of a bone. I covered food for a year or older in a different video, but from a year and younger, um, it's really up to your specific baby and how they are doing with their head neck control and food if you have any questions or concerns if your child has any sort of allergic reaction please ask your pediatrician um yeah um some good examples of what to try and feed your baby um besides the obvious purees there are some um Acorn squash and butternut squash are really good ones to start with. Uh, pureed peas is a really good one to start with. It'll The peas will also help them stay more regular. Um, you want to be careful with starches. They turn to sugar in the system, so don't just like feed them a whole bunch of potatoes, <laughs> you know, on the same day. Because um, starches do turn to sugar in the system. You need to be careful of not feeding them any extra, any excess sugar or salts. So no flavored yogurts at all they have packed with sugar uh check your labels just because something was made for a baby does not mean that it is good for baby so make sure you're checking all of your labels um if you are buying food so i made only some of my purees most of my purees were store-bought um just make sure you're checking those labels uh, i chose plum organics for my baby food um that was my personal choice i like the um I like the company and the ingredients. I found it very affordable. I just got, I could get it right from Amazon and I found them trustworthy. So that was my choice was, was Plum Organics. But honestly, um, it's really simple. People make a lot of money off of your fear. They make a lot of money off of your fear. You've got this. You can make your own food. You can monitor your own baby. You can let them try new and interesting things. 
Once they're about nine once they're about nine months old, you can start giving them cow dairy, and it is okay. There's a lot of um, lots of fear peddlers out there. Uh, lots of you need to do this and you need to do that because they want you to buy products and not make them at home. If you have a safe and sterile cooking environment, you can make baby food. You know your baby best. So as long as they have good head and neck control and they can chomp, then give them texturally appropriate food. And if it's texturally appropriate, then they can eat it. I even gave my um, seven month old pulled apart um, barbecue pork. And I cut up the fibers so that it was a really easy for him to chew on it. And he loved that. It's fine. You know your baby best. If they can handle melt in the mouth tender meat, go for it. Just make sure that you're monitoring. Um, and ask your provider, pediatrician, if you have any sorts of questions. I will say, if you're using a baby bottle, only milk or formula in a baby bottle. Or water. A little bit of water, if your doctor says it's okay. Please do not put any sorts of cereals or anything else in your bottle. You can ask your doctor why. That is a whole other rant of mine. Um, but anyway, um, I believe in you. You got this. Don't be afraid. I have to go. He is, I'm sure you can hear that. Good luck.